if you know me well enough, you know that I love to work and start a mix with my mixing template. But the question is, how do you import your files in your mix template? That's a question that I received more than once. So what I'm gonna to do today is to share with you my process, you know, the workflow that I use when it's time to import files in the mix template, whether I'm working with a client or with my own music. Hey, what's going on? The Chris Hillam here from Mixdown Online. Now, before we start, I just want to let you know that I have a free gift for you if you don't know what a mix template is or if you want to know how to build your own. I have a free mini course for you to watch where I share how you can build your own mixing template and speed up your workflow. Okay, so the link is down below. Check out this free mini course and that will also give you access to some mixing cheat sheets and also some multi-tracks for you to download. Now let's jump in Cubase and start this one up okay now i'm going to start by creating myself a new project and i'm going to select my mix template that i have so i'm going to click on more and select my mix template 2021 click on create and i'm going to select a folder for my mixing session so let's go with this one click on select folder and now cubase is going to load my empty mix template okay so now i have my empty mix template with all of my channels my routing my groups everything is there even my plugins are loaded but bypassed for most of them now i just need to import files into this mix session and this is what i'm going to show you today now there's two different kind of situations that i can deal with when starting a mix number one is to mix a project from a client that the client sends me the files and I just work with those files, import those into my session. And this is what I'm going to start by showing you. And there's also the situation where I mix my own music or music from a client that provides me with a Cubase project. So I'm also going to show you how I deal with that, you know, so this is going to be the second part of the video. But let's start with situation number one, where I have a bunch of files that were sent to me by a client for me to mix. Okay, so now the first thing I'm going to do, and this is going to work for most Cubase uh, versions, okay? So uh, it's not only for Cubase Pro. So the first thing I'm going to make sure of is to get the tempo right. And this is actually something that I ask the client to provide me before I start a mix. Uh, if you want to know how you can prepare your recordings for mixing, I actually made a video a couple of months ago. I'm going to link it on top and down below. You have to check this one out. Uh, okay, so first the tempo I have it right here so uh, the uh, the song i'm going to import into my session um, has a bpm of 108 so this is already set up uh, next what i'm going to do is i'm going to work with the divide track list right here on top i'm going to make sure that this is active and this is going to allow me to split my project window in two different sections so i have the top section where i have my marker tracks or reference tracks and uh, all sorts of different types of channels on that top section i have my marker track that i'm going to select and I'm going to import those audio files in my mixing session. And by doing so, when importing the files, Cubase is going to create channels for those files and will locate them right below the selected channel. And you'll see why I use the divide track list to do so. If you don't have access to the track list because of a different Cubase version that you work on, you can simply select the last channel of your session and then Cubase will import those channels, the audio creating channels underneath that selected channel. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure this one is selected. I'm gonna click on file, go on import audio file. And now I have all the files that I wanna import into my mix session. So I'm gonna click on control A to select them all and click on open. Now I'm gonna get the import options window. Uh, I'm going to make sure that copy all files to project folder is selected. You don't have to, but this is the way I like to work because I like to just create a new folder with a new audio folder that will take care of all the files, all the audio files that I work with on this mix session. Um, then I'm going to also click on convert to project settings and copy to project folder if needed. And this is going to convert the files to the same bit rate and sample rate that I have in my mix session. So if um, the files recorded are not in the same sample rate, this is going to take care of that. So I'm going to click on OK. And now Cubase is going to just copy those files, import them into my mix session. And now I'm going to click on different tracks. And there you go. I'm just going to bring down my upper section. And there you go. Now Cubase have created a bunch of new audio channels 
for those imported files. And they're all, all located underneath the marker channel that I, I selected at first. Now, the only thing that I need to do from this point on is just to drag and drop those, uh, those audio files or audio events straight on the correct channel in my mixing template. So let's start with uh, those two channels, bass and synth bass. I'm gonna go down and I have one channel in my template that is a bass channel and also synth bass. So let's drag those down. If you drag them, you're gonna need to replace them to the correct location. Uh, now those have been exported from the same starting point. Okay, so it's very easy just to sync into my mix session. Something you can do when dragging those files into the correct channel, you can just keep your finger on control and that will keep the audio event from moving all around, you know, so you're gonna stay in sync. So let's go with kick, kick out, sub kick, you know, so it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to, uh, to do so. Now it can happen that I'm gonna have some channels that are not in my mixing template, like for example, that ride channel. In that case, what I'm gonna do is just to drag the full channel into the drum section. And that's it, that's the only thing I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna route the output of that channel to the correct, uh, the correct bus, you know? So in my case, I'm gonna route this one to uh, the, the full drum kit group. So that's the only thing I need to do. And that is gonna happen uh, from time to time depending on the song I'm mixing. So it's not all the tracks that are, that are gonna have the, like the equivalent channel in my mix template. In that case, I just move the full channel in the right location of the mixing project. So that's it. Now this is gonna take you some time to place everything in the correct placement or route those extra channels. But this is how I like to import files in my mixing template when I'm working with a client that sends me audio files to work with. You can also use the media bay from the right zone to import those files into your mixing session, okay? Um, and this is very straightforward. You drag and drop them straight into the session, straight on an existing channel or as a new channel, depending on uh, what you wanna do. You know, so very easy to do also. And that is another workflow you can use if you want to. So this is option number one when you have to deal with some files and not a Cubase project. Now, the second situation is where I have to deal with the client that sends me a Cubase session for me to mix or my own music that was also recorded in Cubase. I have a very cool feature in Cubase Pro that can help a lot for this purpose. So let's go on file and down to import. And now we're gonna select tracks from project. And this is a very cool feature. I'm gonna select the project I wanna import the files from. And now QA is gonna load this project under the hood and show me all the channels that I have available to import into my current session. So I first need to open my mix session and then import um, the, the tracks from project. So there's a few things here that we need to pay attention to. On the left, we have the source tracks, uh, which are all the channels coming from the source project. And then we have the destination tracks. And this is something that I'm gonna also show you. Um, now. There's two options here that we can use to import those tracks into my mixing template or mixing session now. We can select all the source tracks and just remove the channels we don't want. Like in my case, all those group channels, I'm gonna unselect because I already have some in my mixing template. Same for this one and so on. Let's just focus on the drums for now. So I just selected those, uh, everything within the drums folder. So I'm just gonna concentrate on this section first. So when I have all the channels selected, I can simply import them into my session and Cubase will create channels for those tracks since new track is selected under destination track. So that's one option. In that case, what I need to do here under track data to be imported, I need to make sure that events and parts is selected because you know I'm importing uh, not only data from the project but also the audio from that project. So that needs to be checked on. And also channel and inspector settings needs to be checked on. And that will create new tracks for those selected channels in my mixing session. But I can also assign a source track to a destination track that I already have in my mixing session. So for example, I can, uh, I can assign the kick. I know that this one is the kick channel. I can assign that to my kick channel, the, the one that I have into my mixing session right here. And there you go, I can do the same for the second one, which is uh, probably gonna be the kick out. And same for the sub kick, snare, bottom snare, and so on. 
Okay, let's go with the snare top. There you go. So now I have most of the drum source tracks assigned to a destination channel in my mix session. So what's going to happen is that Cubase will place those audio events straight on the correct channel on my uh, on my mixing session, which is quite great. Uh, now, the only thing, though, that I need to pay attention to when doing so is to uncheck the channel and inspector settings because I don't want to import uh, new channels in my mixing session, but only the existing events placed on the correct channel. So I'm going to uncheck that. So if I do it this way, I'm going to have to import import twice the first time around import all the uh, all the channels that i can assign to a channel in my mixing session and the second time around i'm going to import all the other channels that are not assigned to a specific channel at the moment uh, like for example the ride the ride channel here i'm going to uncheck it and i'm going to import that into the second uh, the second round of import okay so now let's import those channels and i'm going to make sure that events and parts is checked on and import at absolute position is also selected and also copy to active project folder and i'm also going to check convert sample rate okay because i can see that the sample rate of the um, the source track is at 44.1 kilohertz and my mixing project is at 48 okay so i'm going to click on okay so there you go cubase have placed those files on the correct channels so let's go back to import from projects And this time around, let's go and select my ride. I'm going to click on channel and inspector settings. And this one is going to create a new track. I'm going to click on OK. And there you go. I have my new track right here. From this point on, I'm just going to change the color of the channel and route it to the correct bus. And that's it. You know, So this is what I would do for all the remaining tracks from the source projects that needs to be imported into the new project, which is my mixing session. Let's go back to the import tracks from project window. And I want to explain to you a few things here. OK, now I have the same as before, all those source tracks selected that I want to import into the mixing session. So same as before, most of the drum uh, source tracks have been assigned to a destination channel to the exception of the ride okay now if i select the ride okay i want to import that as well and i select new track without checking the channel and inspector settings option that i have here on top that is still going to import that channel in your session however it will only be available within the pool and not as a channel okay so that's why i do this in two parts when i use this function the other option you have is to always keep the channel and inspector settings checked on and this way um, those are going to be placed into the correct destination channel you know but all source channels will create a new channel in your mixing session like this so you have the audio files that were placed on the correct uh, destination channel. And you also have uh, a duplicate of all of those channels also as new channels. OK, so again, that's why I tend to just if I use this feature anyways, I'm going to do it in two parts. Now, the cool thing about using the import tracks from projects option for Cubase Pro um, is that you can import even channels that has some effects on them you know so if you want to keep like uh, one specific channel out of your recording session you want to import that you know with the effect and everything into your mixing session you can as far as you import the full channel on a new track in your mixing session that will import the full channel including the effects uh, like the inserted effects and also the routing uh, if you're using for example a uh, an effects channel track link to a channel um, that will also import that routing as far as you select also that effect channel track okay so you need to select both and then they're both going to be important to your mixing session so that can be very practical so there you go my friend this is how i import files in a mix template in cubase so you have two options you can use the import audio feature or the media bay to import your files into your mixing session or use the import tracks from project option in cubase pro so that's going to be it my friend i hope you enjoyed the video if so don't forget to share and to like and to subscribe to the channel if you're new here until next time take care and see you.